What will we be learning about today? Wattle pollen, of course. Wattles are an iconic Australian plant. You probably recognise them starting to flower in the winter, blooming as beautiful clusters of yellow, white or pink flowers all through the spring. Wattle flowers make pollen, which is a fine powder that helps flowers to reproduce. Another thing that normally starts in the spring is hay fever, which is an allergic reaction to airborne pollen. If you have hay fever, pollen makes you itch, sneeze and get runny eyes. It's a common misconception that wattle pollen is the main cause of hay fever. This is probably because when wattles start flowering, people start to sneeze. One of our jobs as scientists is to disprove common misconceptions. Today, I'm going to show you why wattle pollen is not a main cause of hay fever. Imagine this pink balloon is a pollen grain. It's light, small, and can easily be carried by the wind from the plant and into our noses, causing us to sneeze. Most pollen is like this. However, I'm going to show you why wattle pollen is different. Wattle pollen is made up of 16 of these small grains, making it one big mega pollen grain. Wattle pollen is large and heavy. It's very hard for the wind to carry it from the wattle tree, so it doesn't usually make it to our noses. Look at the size difference. It's huge. This is what wattle pollen looks like underneath the microscope. See how big it is? So if you sneeze lots during spring, unless you're walking underneath a big wattle tree, it's probably not wattle pollen that's making you sneeze. 